Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Pad Neo, and today I will show you how you can go to the setup process of this device. So when you put it up for the very first time, you should be presented with the same screen as you can see for me, and you can just click on the arrow as that's the only option visible on that page. Then find your desired language from the list. For me, it already selected the one that I wanted to use, so I'm going to just choose Next, and then we can select our region. This is completely irrelevant which one you choose, so for instance, I can select Australia, doesn't matter. And then we have some uh, legal information, so we just need to select the first two, uh, user agreement and user privacy policy. You can also click right here on these icons to read exactly what you're agreeing to if you're the type of person that wants to go through this uh, uh, absolute novel that you have right here about, well, all the privacy that you supposedly get. Anyway, let's go to the next page, completely ignoring that because it's not like it matters. And from here we can connect to our Wi-Fi network. Now this step is optional and you can skip it if you want to, which is what I'll be doing, assuming I don't need to verify the device. And then we have things like location, scanning and sending user and diagnostic data from Google. You can disable those if you don't want them. Moving on to the next page, we can select a protection to our device. We have face recognition and pin pattern or password. It's going to select a pattern here. Whenever you choose one of those, it will give you a five second counter here to let you know that you need to remember it. And then you can just draw the screen like that you want to use and we can go to the next page. Now, one difference that you will see uh, with my device compared to yours, if you have chosen to connect to your Wi-Fi, is that in your case, you will have Google login page show out show up throughout the setup process and most likely your date and time will be set correctly unlike mine which most likely will not be. Uh, no, actually but here which I just glanced over we have the navigation style so you have two different ones the gesture and buttons choose whichever one you want. Recommended we have auto update overnight and quick control whatever you can read what these do and enable them if you want them. Moving on to the next page we can then select get started which will then take us to or home screen with the device fully set up. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.